turn off for a while and we're gonna sound a little weird because um, I don't have my headphones correctly in plugged in at the laptop because I want to listen to music when I'm done so <laughs> yeah so we're gonna just continue our read for you and <coughs> everything but after this or when I have to go somewhere or do something I'm gonna listen to music on my phone we're going to Governess for the Baroness is holding her campaign outside the Prima Donna lounge across the street from Leonard's Let's go, looks like they're leaving soon. Well, here we are, and there's the Baroness, but where are all the people? Greetings, people of Jovic City. I am Baroness Annabelle Silverglade of the Silverglade family, and today I'll bring you a proposal. For hundreds of years, the Silverglade family has been modicum of dignity and respect the cross of Jorvik. My family helped shape the equestrian traditions of the island into what it is today. From finding stables and stalls nation nationwide to ensuring a promising future for younger young riders, with the Silverglade Riders Foundation, my family has always sought ways to connect and give back to the community that has taken care of us so well. That is why I'm standing here today, speaking to each and every one of you, yes, you, and you too. This year it is my mission to rebuild the derelict racetrack that sits on my family's ancestral grounds, and in the themes of community efforts and spirit, I look to you, the people of Jorvik, to help me with this project. We require blueprints for a brand new layout and the people and horse power to set up the necessary equipment for the course. There will also be a need for decorations and finishing touches for with a splash of greenery. Rest assured, there will be many ways to get involved. Now, what do you all say? Shall we unite and bring the glory of a distinguished racetrack to Jorvik once and for all? Crickets. Rough. Anyone, my right hand man, Godfrey, stands to my side with a sign up sheet for interest parties. A raise of hands would be appreciated. I'll help, mother. I can find a day or two of. of. duties, I suppose. Mm, it's Prince Charming's birthday tomorrow, but I guess we can cut in short. Would you like. Would you look at that? Delightful. I think you'll need more help than that, ma'am. Would you like a hand down? Perhaps we should try to approach the public. I didn't ask for a comments, Godfrey. And I don't need help getting off this darn thing. I didn't ride horses for half a century to have someone help me off a milk crate. Now, if I could just get back into my purse, however, yes, I think it's about time we made an exit. The crate on your purse, but that's impossible. How will it fit? Anything is possible, even the uh, impossible. Now close your mouth, please, Linda. We are not godfish. Codfish. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. What 
with city to palace cave for an old lady dilapidated racetrack. Don't worry mother, there's always next year. Next year? Next year? I don't know how much longer these old bones have left. Come now, Godfrey. Let us take our leave before I tarnish the silver glade reputation any further. That was awkward, to say the least. I know that most Jovic city residents aren't so interested in horses, but not one passerby stopped to listen. I feel bad for the Baroness. Every year she tries to get interest from the people of Jovic to help people to race track, but nobody seems interested. Her heart's in the right place, but I think it as each year passes, she finds it harder and harder to connect with the people of the island. I even tried setting her up with your YouTube channel once, but she got stuck arguing with people in the comments of history videos. Wait, that gives me an idea. Carla, you're always riding around the island speaking to people, aren't you? You must have quite a lot of friends by now. Let's take matters in our own, ha our own hands. We should, who should we reach out to for help? Ha! Huh. Can you imagine the distress the, the place would be? It'd probably turn the racetrack into a maze. No, we have to think again. Yes, that's it. Let's offer to reach out to the people around Jovic individually and encouraging them to help build this racetrack once and for all. If we explain how much this means to the Baroness and Jovic, people are sure to understand. It's settled. I'm going to hang out in the city for a while. I might hit up the purple pony. Feel free to join me. Otherwise, let's meet back at Silverglade Manor and tell the Baroness about your, our plan. I'll send you a text to remind you now. Did you have a good time at Jovic City? I picked up the latest book release, Beatrix Rider and the Mud Larkers Pie Belt. This time Beatrix adventures take her to London. Will she be able to save the street urchin's horse from the meat hook of the dreaded Larker? Who knows? What does that have to do with anything? Let's tell the Baroness about our idea. She's not the easiest person to convince, but don't worry, I can take the lead. As her assistant, I have experience trying to convince her about things. Another year that I have laid, that I have laid my eyes upon that unsightly shamble of a racetrack. What should I, what would my family think of me? Lady Silverglade, could we speak to you for a second? Now, Linda, what did I tell you? Call me Annabelle. Lady Silverglade is my mother. Yes, Annabelle. Carla and I have been talking, and we have a suggestion to make. A way to help build this racetrack once and for all. My Linda, that does sound promising, though perhaps a little ambitious. Please, go on. What if instead of holding speeches and going on awareness campaigns, we reach out to the people around Jovic individually? 
That way we can explain how much this raid track means to the island. I can take charge of the organization's staff. I've juggled writing for the Yorve Gazette, keeping Gazette, keeping on top of the studies of my studies and writing off the school with Michio. Carla practically knows everyone in Yorvik, so they've totally got so the social aspect covered. Goodness, I'm not quite sure how to react. It's clear to me that you've both thought deeply about this. I love this idea. I would be more than happy to support you as you go forth on this. You mean it? It was that easy? Great. It's settled then. The two of you seem perfectly capable of hand handling this project, and I am here over to oversee and help in any way I can. Thank you both. This is a weight lifted off my shoulders. Did we really just convince the Baroness to let us lead the project? Pinch me, I'm dreaming. Let's get to asking people. <laughs> the race track means a lot to the people of the nearby towns, so Silverlight Village is a good place to reach out to folks. <clears throat> Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall My love, if you feel like I do right now Don't say you're on the run to the other side My love, you say you wanna try But you never do Sugar, there's a reason why we live Hosa, you're just in time. Alan and I were about to perform a wrestling of Metamorph... But the lead character turns into a horse instead of a bug. Very fitting for Jovic, right? Er, uh, Talia, I don't think they've stopped by to see our street show. Is there something you need help with? We're running a pretty tight schedule, but we have time to glance over story pitches under 500 words. Gasp! Could it be? The Burners is bringing a racetrack to its former glory, or perhaps first time glory, considering it's always been the way it is. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Mel uh, You never call me Mel. Ugh. You really must. You really must really be excited. But yes, to answer your question, of course, I know what you're thinking. Let's nurse up this racetrack. We'll see you there in a bit. We need to grab some supplies first. Hey, whoa, be careful. These gardens are highly manicured. You can't go stomping and storming around here like that. What brings you here anyway? Agnetha, Agnetha, maybe they wanted to ask about Silverglade Winery Gardens. Well, there isn't much of them, but one day they will be fantastic. Why, you could even help if you wanted to. That's probably not why you're speaking to us, though, is it? Yes, yes. Anyway, we'll travel first here in Jorvik. We've heard with that the Baroness is looking to complete her race track. Well, with our garden expertise, it only makes sense that we lead the project. Let's start. Your first task is Agnetham, darling. Maybe they already have a project leader. Could it be Linda, the Baroness's assistant? Baroness assistant. I saw her walking around the grounds, only a laptop in one hand and piles of books in another. It looked like she was on a mission. We'd be more than happy to help bring our groundskeeping skills and beautify the unsightly racetrack. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I might faint. Oh, 
You look like someone who has about 10 different places to be. If you're hoping to speak to the veteran, you're out of luck. She's swamped with work today. She doesn't even have the chance to speak to me and I'm her oldest friend. This wouldn't have anything to do with the word going around, would it? About gathering forces to help with the burners straight track once and for all? Sounds like quite the job, but I'm willing to help in any way I can. Your safety is of utmost importance. I'd love to be there to keep watch over the horses and humans. I'm sure I could help carry a thing or two into place too. I've got some stuff to finish up first. I promised Madison I'd join her for the final boss battle in her Gmail game. There's only one controller, but it involves a lot of button smashing, so it's more of a job for four hands. Hey guys, while well, we're going to Linda, I think this will be it for today's video or whenever the video comes out. Um, I'll still be recording like the next video, I'll be doing something else though. But thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully be seeing you next time. <laughs>